Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create variations using inventory templates for your Amazon listing. Most of the Amazon sellers sell products with a lot of varieties and it's a good thing that Amazon allows listing variations when you use your inventory template. A variation relationship is a set of products that are related to one another. Good variation families provides a clear customer buying experience and gives our customer insights into all the potential variations of a product they're interested in purchasing. Adding a variation using the Add a Product Wizard on Amazon is really easy, but this time, we will add variation using the Inventory File Template. It may not be as easy as the online tool, but it will surely save you time when you have a lot of products to add. You just need to get a hang of it, as well as the main ruling. Before you proceed, you need to know the parent and child relations when it comes to variations. There are three components to a variation relationship. Parent product is the product displayed in search results, which is not a physical product. The parent product is a non-viable product used to relate to child products. The Amazon catalog uses the parent product to establish relationships between the child products. For example, if two shirts have the same parent, then they are related and are considered child products. Child products, on the other hand, are the products related to the parent product, which is a physical product. The child product is an instance of the parent product. You can have many child products that are all related to one parent product. Each child varies in some way, for example, by size or by color. Variation theme is the relationship between the parent and the child. The variation theme defines how related products differ from each other. For example, in the clothing category, Child products can differ from each other by size or color. We will go through the important columns in our inventory file to ensure that you're going to have a successful inventory file template with variations. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let us go through the inventory template. Let's start from left to right. Indicate the product type for all rows. Then specify the item SKU. The first row is going to be the parent product, and the succeeding items are the child. Since the parent product is not a physical product, you can indicate any SKU for the parent product. Label the parent for it is needed on the variation section. Fill in all the brand name, including the parent, then on the product name, fill in only the parent row. For the product ID type, just leave blank the parent row, then label the child rows. Indicate the item type keyword, then fill out the material types. Don't forget to leave the parent row blank. For the color, color map, size, and size map, indicate the variations. Fill out all the rows of the adult product question then indicate the material composition, but don't include the parent. Indicate the prices of the item, quantity, and the shipping template, all for the physical product. For the image URL, since this will be shown online, you can specify the images that you want to use, including the parent. Let's go to the variation section. This section is very important, for this is where you will indicate the family relationship. Indicate the parent and child. Remember that the first row needs to be the parent, and the succeeding rows are going to be the children, unless you're going to start a new family. Remember that we indicated the parent skew earlier? This is where you're going to place them. 
Just fill out the child roles for the parents queue. Indicate what type of relationship this family has. For my example, since this is a t-shirt family, their relationship type is variation. Fill out everything on the variation theme. The rest is going to be the same concept. Again, a rule of thumb is that the parent is an imaginary product and the physical product are the child. Indicate if you want to update or delete the item, then indicate the product description, closure, and style number for both parent and child. Fill in the manufacturer's information and skip the parent. Next section is for product information and keywords. So since we want our product visible and relevant in search results, fill out both child and parent rows. The product enrichment, dimensions, fulfillment, and offer sections are only for the physical product. So fill out the fields accordingly. Once you have completed a new family, just add another parent row to start a new family. So those are the steps on how to create variations using inventory templates. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!